As Russian forces continue to advance in Ukraine, organizations around the world are sending aid to the Ukrainian defense. One recent donation, nine 50-passenger buses for the Ukrainian Defense Forces sent by the nonprofit Spirit of America. Joining us right now is Howard Buffett. He is the chairman and CEO of the Howard G. Buffett Foundation, which funded those buses with $2.7 million in grants. Howard, it, it is good to see you this morning. I know you are just back from Ukraine. You have spent a huge amount of uh, the last several decades going to areas that are in conflict. What did you see in Ukraine, and how does it measure up to what you've seen in other areas of conflict? Well, I've never quite uh, seen anything like this in my lifetime. Uh, we have worked in a lot of difficult places, including Sudan and Congo. And um, I think that the difference here is that it's just indiscriminate shelling on civilians. It's uh, millions of refugees uh, trying to leave the country. And it's just really an overwhelming situation for the country. And I think that um, the aid, the U.S. has stepped up. Uh, I think the EU um, hopefully can do more. But I, I believe we've got to support Ukraine in this fight. And it's, it's a difficult fight for them. We see pictures of you meeting with President Zelensky there. W what did he tell you in terms of what they could use? We, we know they've asked for more weapons, but the devastation that's taken place in his country must leave them needing much more. Well, we've been working, as you said, we, we support the spirit of America uh, and the purpose of, of supporting them with the buses. I mean, we would normally never do something like that. but. You know, trying to get civilians out of the east back to the west uh, safely, trying to get supplies into the east is critical. So um, they're the or only organization doing this that, that we're aware of. Um, and President uh, Zelensky, he made it clear that they need additional support. But, you know, we can't do anything that uh, falls into the military realm. But we are feeding uh, hundreds of thousands of people right now are providing the funding to uh, World Central Kitchen. They're doing an amazing job. And it's interesting because normally when we're in an area like this, we see a lot of different NGOs operating. You see, I mean, like we would operate in places you might see 30 or 40 different vehicles from 30 or 40 different NGOs. And the truth is the only two NGOs we've seen on the ground doing anything are Spirit of America and, and World Central Kitchen. So. It makes it more difficult for us to operate because we need specific organizations that we can donate to. Why, why is it that there are so, <clears throat> so, uh, so many less organizations that are operating there? This is a new conflict. There, there haven't been people who have been ready to go on the ground, and, and this is just the very beginning of help on the way? Well, I think part of it is that, um, like, we're, we're looking at trying to support various things immediately that help them get the grain out. I mean, our biggest single focus uh, in the foundation is food uh, security and conflict mitigation. So it comes together in a way we've quite never seen it here in the Ukraine. But, um, you know, when we're trying to get grain out, we're trying to get uh, support to come in to help us do that. And a lot of uh, private companies don't want to come in right now because they're concerned about what could happen, uh, obviously to their employees, but also if they make an investment. So we're trying to fill the gaps where maybe the private sector won't make an investment, but yet it helps get things started, which is what we always try to do. And so we're working, I did talk to the president about two different ideas, which uh, he supports 100%, which, is, which are two uh, different ideas to try to get grain transferred and moved out. The truth is you cannot replace the Black Sea but you also can't sit by and wait to see what happens. So um, I think the biggest challenge for us right now is getting organizations that, that will come into Ukraine and support the kind of work that we're trying to do.